the West is at peace again. Bad men and killings are in the past. I always hated. Shana is dying. Anyone who wants to help him go to hell will find him in the old shack in the abandoned Pueblo's San Jose, one who hates Shana. Is five thousand dollars. <gasps> Very good, Jaguar. Who are you calling Jaguar? That ain't my name, friend. You must be the fellow they call Sushina. You think that I'm the Jaguar? I don't think I know you are. When a fella hears these particular chimes, he knows his time is near. Yeah, Jaguar, your timepiece is well known. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Um, yeah, the others? Oh, them. Just a bunch of greedy bounty hunters. Had me on their list for a long time. It's like you. <laughs> I simply sacked out and let them kill each other off. Greed works wonders. No one wants to share a reward. But a man like you ain't quite that dumb. I'm impressed the way you just stood back and waited till the road was open. $5,000 worth of patience. Are you saying I can put a bullet in you now and the reward's all mine, huh? First, I gotta ask you to do me a favor. I uh, might have guessed you weren't gonna make it all that easy. <laughs> you 
You know what this is for? Uh, listening to brains. No. Well, if you ask a stupid question. <laughs> yeah. I need a man who's good with a pistol. I'd say you're that man, Jaguar. Oh, you come with me and I'll make you rich. I'll give you an answer later. I got a lot of things to do. to Chadron, what have you decided? For that favor, how many men do I have to kill, Shoshana? If we're lucky, not a one. There's a safe in Chadron that once a month is fatter than a pregnant hippopotamus. Well, what's that, a potty hippopotamus? Ain't important. Just think about all that money we're gonna rob. The only trouble is I need time to crack a safe, and that's why I need someone who's good with a gun to cover my back. Did have a sidekick once, but they hanged him. Oh, oh. I'll go take a look. Mister, you better get out of here before I put a bullet in you. Take it easy, Pappy. That thing could go off accidental. you damn right it could. So keep your distance. You can put that rifle away. No one's gonna bother you now. We're riding on. Come on, Jaguar. Keep your hand away from the holster, damn it. <laughs> Can't you leave us alone, mister? What do you want here? A little information. Which way is Chadron? Half an hour to the south. Thanks. Another couple of hired guns for Dick Colvin. I'll go spread the word. They're trying to beat us by scaring us. But they ain't gonna scare us. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand why they're scared. What do you want? The last time I came here, you ran me off with that rifle. Put it down. I'll put it down after you've gone. I'm here to straighten out your hold on this property. Get the hell out of here. It all depends on you whether you keep it or not. Get away, you pig! I'm just being social today. It'll be different. Don't forget now, your mortgage runs out in a month, you hear? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Got trouble, Sheriff. Lozeran's gonna try and unite the settlers. They're saying I got a hold of their land rights from the bank illegally. Well, was it illegal? Of course not. You know what desperation does? 
It turns men dangerous. And that's your problem, Sheriff. To keep them in line. About the only thing that worries me is that my son is irresponsible. That that bastard Lozdrin, stubborn fool that he is, doesn't want George as a son-in-law. And I gotta change his mind. He doesn't trust you. He's convinced it's just a plan to enable you to get his land. The old idiot. Beatrice is a girl with a lot of character. And I think she'd make a damn good daughter. You'd better go. I'd like to be alone. I've got a lot of important things to take care of. Well, I guess, uh, right there, the sheriff. Your money is waiting for you in there, my friend. Hmm. His words. <laughs> easy to say. You're right, it's easy. Yeah? How come your other sidekick got caught, huh? Uh, because he refused good advice. Well, wouldn't keep his gun loaded. Well, now, would you take a look at that? A dying wildcat. For if you stroke her, I'd bet on it. <laughs> Rip your eyes out. You keep your hands away, you rat. I can make it on my own. Just trying to be gentlemanly, Miss Beatrice. No offense intended, I assure you. Good morning, Bob. I've got a list of things here. I hope you've got it all. I can't supply you with the thread or the boxes, I'm sorry to say, miss. Only foodstuffs. Why can't you? Oh, someone ordered it that way, miss. Uh, the sheriff? No, someone else. Uh, you'll find out. Yes. Morning, George. Morning to you, Miss Swanson. Why don't we pull this uh, job tonight? We would if I knew it was the right day. Huh? Once a month, the ranchers ride in and deposit their cash in the bank here. And the next morning, before sunup, they ship it out to Dallas in a wagon. Well, what makes you think I'll agree to crack a wagon, huh? A safe, you idiot. Oh, well, how much cash do you think's in it? Uh, I don't know. I take a percentage, right? Yeah, miss. Sorry, I can't give you the rest of the stuff, but... Uh... Yeah, why don't you see your old man about it, Beatrice? Bye, Miss Beatrice. She's quite nice, considering. Yeah, and she's mad about me, you know. She's always hanging around here. Poor little girl. Though you deserve a lot better. Hmm? Crazy about you, huh? Somebody told her to hide her feelings to show you up to be the liar you are, I imagine. And who the hell are you? The Lone Ranger? How'd you know my name, mister? All right, you runny mouth smart ass. Let's see if you got any guts in you. Did you hear him, Jaguar? Why don't you just plug him in the back? You want me to turn around? You think I'm real stupid, don't you, huh? Come on now, pull your gun. Hmm. A minute, huh? Jaguar. Jaguar! Got the time? Twelve thirty. Let's eat, huh? Too early. Huh? Oh. 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 Sleeping? <laughs> Sorry about the flour and the ruckus. How much are we covering? Not a cent. I want to pay you just for the pleasure it gave me. <laughs> you better go easy, though. Should Decoven hear that, that you beat up his son? Who is this Decoven? Banker here. It's a powerful man, mister. Well, you hear that, partner? It's a small world. We have a business deal to take care of at the bank. Our babies are made and raised. Interesting. Yeah, it's Miss Beatrice's. She must have forgotten it. Hmm. 
I'll drop it off to her. Thanks. Go on, fearless. No. I didn't realize he had to pay for it. Ingrid, are you sure that it really happened like that? Sure, I'm sure. What's more, it's all over town. Mr. Swanson saw the whole thing, and everybody's laughing about it. You want to see me, Father? Tell me what happened at the store this morning. Nothing special. I, I just had a talk with a stranger, that's all. Oh, yes? So who beat you up? A whole tribe of Indians? Who told you that? It's common knowledge. The whole town's busting to gut laughing about it. Since the day you married my father, you've been running me down at every opportunity. George! There were two of them, Pa. One behind me was Jaguar. More than nothing I could do about it. If that was Jaguar there, you'd be dead now. You could have done plenty had your gun drawn and ready. And only one of the strangers was involved. And he took you. Here, George. Go make a man out of yourself. There's one thing that should never happen to a man. That's lose his dignity. As you are incapable of settling accounts with those two, I'll tell O'Connor to do it. Why, you don't know what you... Leave me alone. Didn't you hear me, George? Because we haven't come to an agreement about my percentage. I'll be happy with 40. You'll get 10. 35. 15. 30. Smells good, my girl. Nothing like a good cup of coffee to boost up a man's drooping morale. I sure wish you were right. Know what I like about you, Smith? Your optimism. Hope this is gonna work. Let me read it to you. It says that we as mortgage holders have the right to make a request, but only on one condition, that three weeks notice is supplied for the bank to grant a six month extension, provided all previous payments have been made. There, what do you think? Perfect. All we gotta do is sign the request and take it to Dakota. Yes, me, he's leading us up the garden path. You all heard that hogwash. We can request, but it don't mean Dakota's gonna grant the extension. Why shouldn't he though? Holding those papers another six months means another six months of interest for him. The interest isn't important to him. He's already got more money than he knows what to do with. He's land hungry. He wants our ranches. He brought in hired killers to try and scare us away, and now he's got a hold of our mortgage contract. That's all he wants, our land. Take it easy, Rush. Trouble is, we're ranchers. We can push a plow, but there ain't one of us who can pull a gun. You're right. We ain't gunfighters. So why the hell don't we hire us some gunfighters? Come on, drink it all. Howdy. You still around? What do you want? Came by to give you this book. You left it in a store this morning. See? That's the chicken I prepared for my father's guest. Hey. You might have killed me, Miss Beatrice. You always put that much value on a piece of meat. You pig, get out! Well, I better take your book. Oh, by the way, I'm glad to say that I know how to make and raise babies now. Good. Go and try it with your fat sidekick. Well, he's not my type, really. He uh, won't shave in the evening. I heard your cattle were drinking the Coven's water yesterday. That happens again, Rush, and I'll put a bullet in you. Is that so? Well, I got a message for you, boss. You can tell the Coven that all of us here are coming into town to ask him a favor he can't refuse. Well, well. <laughs> Look who's become a part of the family here. 
Tell me now, stranger, what message can I take from you to my boss? Brad's great. You gonna offer me any? Yes or no? Hmm. Help us all. Now get out of here. You're trespassing. Responsible. I let you hire the men and you hired a bunch of incompetent idiots. The sheriff has got a warrant out for him. We'll have him in jail by tonight. No one is going to make an idiot out of me, do you hear? That's so? Well, I disagree. One man's testimony is hardly enough, Dick Coben. You know that story would never hold up in a court of law. So why should it be considered enough to have me thrown in jail, even if you do own the sheriff? Better watch what you're saying, mister. Why don't you hear the rest of the witnesses? We will at the trial. And when are you going to hold the trial, Sheriff? When de Coben thinks his son has been avenged in his honor? That's you enough. You I can't... might say that both my husband and I have discussed this subject. And we both feel the responsibility is George's, not yours, mister. I sure do wish I'd had the place and the occasion to have gotten to know you better. Jim, put him in the cell at the end. Is this here a private discussion? Or can we partake? What do you want, Rush? Just doing my duty. I want to testify that this man was provoked into doing what he did. And Anderson, Clark, and Smith will back me up. They was there, too. Good day, Sheriff. All right. Down at the bottom. You know, DeCoven might still give you a hand. You should tell your daughter to marry his son. My daughter ain't for sale. She'll pick her own husband, Sheriff. And it won't be a DeCoven. Hmm. Hard-headed old mule. Calm down, dear. That idiot O'Connor. It's not really his fault. You heard what the Sheriff said. Three against one and still your boy's lost. I need a top gunslinger. I already know who, Shoshana. That was very clever of you, partner. Everything is planned, and you go and get yourself mixed up with the law. What does she want, huh? I'll tell you when you're a little bit older. Wait for me in the saloon. You're a gentleman, sir. And by the way, my husband would like to speak to you. Why don't you go over to the bank? He's there now. Nothing would give me more pleasure than to do that. But um, I'm afraid I can't. You see, the sheriff has ordered me to get out of town. I could get that order changed easily. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you, but uh, I have other things to take care of. I'm real sorry. Well, I must say I'll be uh, sorry to see you go. Yeah. Two whiskeys. Two whiskeys. I think that three. Three? All right. Well, you see how things are. We need a couple of men who can really stand up to the Coven's gunfighters. Well, don't look at us. We're not interested. Hear me out, huh? We can pay a couple of thousand. Make it fine? Mm, too much. We ain't rich. Of course, if the others agreed, why? Don't bother. We couldn't accept we got other business. Oh, that business. <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it. And if you change your mind, just come on at my house. So long. So long. Watch my back.
Barkeep, give me another whiskey. No. Clean this one up first, mister. Okay. I'm not proud. Ah. No, no. Use your tongue. Lick it up, mister. Mm -hmm. You hear that, Jaguar? My watch. What the hell's going on? All right, now, how did this mess start? I spilled my drink. I'm not here to joke around. The barman will tell you. I don't know nothing, Sheriff. Naturally, nobody knows nothing. I already told you. I don't like your kind in my town, so get your things and ride on out. Jaguar. Come on, let's go. Jaguar. Excuse my friend. The wish to kill mesmerizes him. Uh, uh, uh. Jaguar. Come on now, Jaguar. We'll find you a victim soon enough. Vamos. Thanks for all your help. Well, well just a moment. My job is to cover your back when you're working. Isn't that right? Well, what's more, Jaguar never uses his fist. He's a gunfighter. Very funny. <laughs> combination. Going round in circles. Rotten bad luck. What'd you say? Rotten bad luck. I can't hear you. What rotten bad luck? Uh, you want to make me deaf, you idiot? Just the last number giving me trouble. Ask me, I'd put a couple of sticks of good old dynamite in blue. Imbecile. Well, what'd you say? You're an imbecile. Still out there. I ain't surprised. Paying them to be there. They got three rifles and three pistols. Two bullets would be enough. One for you and one for me. Two bullets? Shut up! Eureka! We just about done it. Yes, I know. 
No noise, you're right. In that case, don't make any noise when I start to throttle you, or when I twist your stupid head off, or when I do this. <laughs> no noise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we can try to open it again, can't we? No, it's nearly morning. Go I never saw nothing. Of course, you didn't deem bad. You were dreaming. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, what do you make of it, Sheriff? I don't know, but it's strange that they left the candle. Makes me think they were amateurs. Hardly. I had three men on guard all night, and they didn't hear a damn thing. We're entirely surrounded by idiots. I only hired one idiot, my deputy, and that's it. But you've got 20 or 30 on your team. Well, a month goes quickly. All we got to do is wait till the ranchers put their money in again. And then the night after they do, we go in and... Sure, I know the rest. Tell me, though, why the hell should I take you with me? So you can close the safe after I open it, huh? Well, that could have happened to anybody. Anybody with nuts and bolts in their head. Hmm. You've lost your share in this venture. No. 30 days will go by before you can say 20%. Yep. But how's a man to tell his stomach that? We better pawn some of our personal belongings. Mm. Thought. What they give us for this? Uh, hey, hey, you can't sell that. I, I'd rather sell my horse. Ride your watch. Huh. How about that proposition of Russia's? Let's say we look into that. Mm, yeah, we sure are well out there. <laughs> <laughs> that two thousand dollars. But just do us a favor and leave their eggs alone, huh? Well, eggs? What do you mean, huh? Chicken eggs, dum dum. <laughs> Full house. Aces on nine. You always win. No. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you going to eat your dinner? No. Darn if I can make you out. You've done nothing but worry about your horse, gun, and ammunition since the minute you came here. That's how I stay alive. <laughs> Sorry about that. What was that? Nothing. I'm going outside. Hmm. Raise you two. What you got? Two pair. Sorry. <laughs> it ain't possible. How the hell did you do it? This has been going on all evening. Just keep trying. Your luck will change. Really? Really. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this game is called I Wish I Wasn't Here. What do you know? Something went wrong. Try this one again. <laughs> no. Still ain't right. Kind of fun, ain't it? It would be if we changed places. Yeah? You're still kind of spunky, ain't you? Hey, you son of a... I'm getting dizzy. Stop it. Stop it. You don't want to play no more. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. That's polite, ain't he? <laughs> Now get your butt out of here, Georgie boy. You 
see, I'm not concerned with my gun and horse all the time. <laughs> oh, what took you so long? The horse is afraid of the dark, stupid. Let's go. Thirteen. <laughs> Come to Daddy. <laughs> Evening, Betty. Well, Come on, you whoop well, well, Hey, what is this? Well, well, put me down, you, you varmint. Well, let go of me. Bad nothing. More trouble, huh? Can't face Park it up like this. Oh, I'll remember this. Dad blamed coyote. I'm going to report you to the sheriff, my cracky. This is a violation of our Constitution. Stop, Graf. Now, you fucks are guilty of depriving a citizen of a disabled civil rights. Ah, oh, simmer down, Luke. Betty will give you back your dollar. <laughs> then eat my doggone dollar I want. I want Betty. It's a matter of getting out of trouble. You need Jaguar. You're relaxing. You can handle all alone, huh? How'd your little job turn out? Ah. <laughs> Thirty. Your share is, uh, how much? No, thanks. The sight of ill-gotten gains gives me a pain in the belly. Not me, it don't. I mean, if you're looking for a little company, honey, why? Hey, hey here's two of those. That's sure the best. Ready for you. Want a drink down here in private? Mm -hmm. Well. I'll leave it up to you, Jaguar. The cross Jaguar, Jaguar, you really? I'll be yeah. a cross-eyed boy. Boy, if I ever have kids, they'll never believe me. Uh, not for me, yet. I think this calls for a celebration in private. What do you say? Yeah, about that. <laughs> Come on. Naughty dog. Yeah, I'm going to celebrate in private. All right. <laughs> Come on. Who is it? Mary. Squirt alone. Think business needs. <laughs> yeah, I'd much prefer that too. Only first we attend to the squirt. Well, it's been so damn long, I near forgot what it's all about. Well, come on. Don't make me out a fool to my father. Hell no. Now, the best thing would be to move the money out secretly and keep it here. Then should anyone take the bank, all they're going to get their hands on is an empty vault. Damn good idea. Now, the 
best thing would be to move the money out secretly and keep it here. Then should anyone take the bank, all they're going to get their hands on is an empty vault. Damn good idea. Better let me handle this little transfer. That much money has a habit of causing unexpected problems. Fine with me. I'll invite you for dinner. That way you can do it without arousing suspicion. Okay? Okay. Good night. Good night. There's no reason to panic, Mr. Dick Govan. This is a social call. How social? This evening, some of your hired nannies uh, dropped by a Rush Lozeran spread, and I kind of thought I'd return the visit. That's social. Was my boy there? Nope. Not that I recall. But I feel that you should know that anything, any illness that Lozeran and his daughter could catch, that Coven could catch too. Right, Jaguar? <laughs> Just watching your back, Jaguar. Yeah, in person, Dakovan. Well, now, it appears seeing you without a, an appointment isn't nearly as hard as you'd like us to believe. Oh, wait. How much is Lozeran paying you guys? Uh, a couple of thousand. All right, then. I'll just offer you double that, hmm? Huh. Well, you're offering a hell of a deal there. Grab it. But to the wrong men. You don't know what you just threw away. Yeah, $4,000. No, $74,000. Huh? $74,000. Sheriff! Just go in and tell him it's a deal, Mr. Colvin. After all, heck, it was his proposition. Yeah, but I refused the first time. Changing our mind this fast to warn him. We got to work it so the buzzard will believe we're his dying buddies. The Samsons, that does spell trouble. They're cutting a path right across the state. Hell, they've taken three banks since Monday. Think maybe I'll swear in a few extra deputies. No. They're unstoppable. Not even the army could handle that gang. Well, I'm only warning you. You take whatever precautions you feel you should take. Yeah. I'll give it plenty of thought. I'm not the kind that favors Russian things when there's no coal. such a state for. Uh, please, for God's sake, Shishina, my father and the other ranchers have all gone local. They're really out for blood. Can't you do something to stop it? The acquisition of mortgage deeds is entirely legal. Law and order, hell. The only order is you enforce are your own. We don't deny it. But the Bank of Dallas was willing to give a six-month extension. Would you? In a pig's eye, Russ. She wants all land and he ain't stopping it. Nothing to get it. You idiots, you can't win. You're making matters worse with violence. Cause I'll ruin you and send you to prison, a lot of you. Come on, what the hell are we waiting for? We might as well do now what we'll have to do later. Let's sting him up. Yeah! First one moves is gonna find out how that pane of glass fell. Put on your guns. Well, come on, you heard me. Damn it, whose side are you on? Dick Owen just happens to have the law on his side in this particular case, and I just happen to like to see the law respected. That answer your question? Guess my first impression was the right one. By no good chicken thief. And a two-bit gun would sell his own mother down the creek. Ah, the hell with it. I'm much obliged, Shoshana. You should be, since me and my partner have just run out of work. I believe I offered you $4,000, right? Well, I'll improve on that. I'll pay you boys six to work for me. Deal? Yeah, that's what I call a fair deal, mister. Deal. 
get advance. Yeah, with 20% for you. What is 20% of 74,000? I heard just now that you were leaving. Yep. I gave back the cash to your father. Well, I guess I was wrong. I never thought anyone could buy you. I'm sorry. Every man has his price, miss. It's one of the facts of life. You hurt her feelings. Bad feelings don't do no good, so forget about them. They'll be here a few days till we know the Samson gang's not going to hit the bank. So don't give them no trouble. Take us the box. Um, we got a bunk with them? I guess so. Don't worry, they won't hurt you. Do we sleep together? Hmm? Hell no. You snore fit to wake the dead. All right, I can manage it, thanks. Double the guard on the bank, O'Connor. Charlie and Andy can take it from now, and Shoshane and Jaguar tonight. Sure thing, I'll do it right away. Well, I guess the study window should be one of these. Would you pour us a brandy each, please, Ingrid? Now the Samson gang can attack the bank as much as they want to. <laughs> sure. I know you don't like to use your fist because you're a, a gunman. But uh, it's useful sometimes to get rid of a fella without making a hell of a lot of noise. <laughs> you really don't know how to deliver a punch, huh? <laughs> well, I think it's about time you began learning. Come on, put your hands up. Hey, you're not going to hurt me. Of course not, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm your amigo, ain't I? Now put on a real frightening face, Jaguar. Oh. That face wouldn't frighten a timid bank clerk. Now defend yourself! No, wait a minute. Forget all that jumping around. Now you see that? Hit it, come on! Am I interrupting anything? Shoshana, would you mind coming with me? Wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> now listen, Jaguar. Yeah. I want you to time how long it takes the candle to burn down to there, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Don't burn the table. Where are we going? Mm -mm. It's a surprise. You're not allowed to ask questions. Mm. This is my room in here. And naturally, my husband's as well. And this one is your room. What do you think? I like it. Tell me, though, why did you put me in this room? Just in case one night I can't sleep, I know I can go next door and talk to somebody. What if your husband wakes up? Oh, he always drinks a glass of warm milk when he retires, so you needn't worry. I never realized that it could actually induce sleep. When I'm distracted, it's possible for me to put my sleeping pill in his glass instead of mine. I'm betting that Limey O'Connor's already found out how easy you can be distracted where that's concerned. Who told you about O'Connor? Male intuition. I can't stand this loneliness. I want to be where there's lots going on. There's nothing here. And uh, your friend O'Connor doesn't quite make the grade. Is that what you mean? Huh? Ever thought of elopement? One of these nights, we must discuss it. Why not tonight? About midnight. I'm very happy you've decided to work for the DeCoven outfit. Talking about work, we're on duty soon. We'll have to eat and run. I'm glad to see you're so conscientious. 
I must apologize that you hardly had time to settle in, but uh, your expert services will possibly be required tonight. I must say, I feel like a man condemned, one who's been granted his last wish. Jaguar, don't be bashful. No. Eat up and enjoy it. It might be the last meal you'll get. Ooh, I feel like puking now. You know the game? Yep. <laughs> he worked for the city. That is by their reputation. What I've heard is that all five were sired by William Bonney out of, uh, what's her name, Bell Star. Bunch of real bastards, any way you look at it. I like your sense of humor. Of course, there used to be six of them, but the eldest brother came to an early end. He was the roughest of the lot. Good thing we never met him. What? Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Of course you met him, Jaguars. You killed him. Is that so? Hmm. Hmm. Well, he's modest, that's all. Now, this watch here is really quite famous. It belonged originally to the elder Samson. Jaguar took it off the body. Anyhow, the rest of them have sworn to track Jaguar down and kill him in the most painful way they can. Well, Jaguar here just laughs at him. In fact, seeing as you say they'll be here tonight, well, that way they'll have a chance to kill two birds with one stone. Over, over my dead body. I'm at the bank, taking my turn at guard duty. The money. Mortgages. Give me the dynamite. You know that. The pill in his milk. It This is a good place to hide it. <laughs> sure, I'm sure. I spent two weeks sheltering in here once during a real howler one winter and was snug as a bug. And that snow was driving down like you wouldn't believe. And there was a northeast wind that just okay, wouldn't... Okay, okay, I believe you. I don't want a weather report. Snow up to your butt. Well, listen, Shoshana, why are we going to all this here trouble? We got the money. Why don't we just get on our horses and ride? If we leave now, they'll know we did it. They won't know if we leave afterwards? No. When that charge of dynamite blows, we'll be guarding the bank. As long as we're there, no one will accuse us of it. But if we run for the border, everybody will know it was us that did it. And they'll come after us. If you say so, it's your responsibility though, right? I 
has him, Aaron. The thin one, Shoshana, is a hell of a safe cracker. Keep your hands off it. Well, it looks like we don't have to hit the bank now. Why? We're almost there. Yeah, let's do the job like we planned. Horace Dagbert, don't you understand? This money is out of the bank. We don't have to rob it now. When do we meet the rest of the boys? They'll join up with us just before sunup. You all remember Mama's commandments? Never kill for only a little gain and take what you want when you can. Show only the respect to others that they show to you. Money corrupts folks, so rob them and do them a favor. May Mama be with us always, amen. As of tomorrow, we'll be on vacation for one Did month. Did you hear that? We are to make an effort to behave ourselves like the gentlemen we are. Give me. Don't worry about a thing. We'll behave. This will make the boys happy. Think so, huh? Next relief is on. Jaguar is still waiting at the bank. Seventy-four thousand dollars. I've been robbed. And you, O'Connor? Just where the hell were you? Nobody would have got past your men if they'd been at their posts. But we were here within a couple of moments of the blast. Then how did they manage it? They wired up the dynamite to explode and waited outside. Then after the explosion, they put all the money in the valise and just walked out. How do you know they put the cash in the valise? Because I left my valise here and it's gone. I have an idea. Let's hear it. It's possible that they robbed the safe first and then exploded the dynamite later to try and fool us. Sheer stupidity. I happen to carry the key around my neck. How would they have opened it in the first place? I put the pill in my husband's glass of milk. Let's pull out here together. Are you telling me you really want to do it? I understood it was involuntary, when you're distracted. I wasn't distracted, and more to the point, I don't like people taking advantage of me. Beautiful big house in Dallas, restaurants and good clothes, theater and uh, horse racing, world of beautiful things. It's quite a bargain. Then wait for me in Dallas, all right? Mm. Jaguar! 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 Where the hell is he? Jaguar! Hey! Jaguar! <laughs> Wake up! How did a bottle get in there? Come on, for Pete's sake, let's go. Someone robbed the bank. On your feet. If this is your idea of a joke, you better have a hell of a good punchline. Where have you hidden the valise? Under the bed, next to the pot. If you know what's good for you, mind your tongue. Just give me a straight answer. Now, where's that valise? It's where I said. Take a look, Jack. Are you trying to make a monkey out of me? Why don't you go to hell? You wake me up with a poke of a gun barrel. You ask me where, where my valise is. Well, I told you. So what's eating you now? You know, it could help if I, if I knew what you're searching for. $74,000. 
<laughs> You'll stop laughing soon enough. All right, let's go. All right, all right. What's the matter? Ain't you got no sense of humor? A man who gets too excited could make bad errors of judgment. Seventy-four thousand dollars, huh? Well, that deserves a certain amount of consideration. No. <coughs> Why go through all this pain? What the hell are you waiting for? A miracle? Listen, I'll make a deal with you, Shoshana. We'll split the money between us equally. There's uh, seven of us here. That'll give us around $10,000 each. Go to hell. Jaguar and I are ready to die if necessary. I ain't telling you. Never. No! Here, right? You ready to die if necessary? Sure, sure. You know what they say in the old country? Nope. It's better to have the egg today than a chicken tomorrow. Double yoker, you mean? Huh? The egg's worth a little more than ten thousand yeah, dollars. The goose that laid a golden egg. I cook no goose. Hey, no more yokes. I mean jokes. You ain't thinking for Pete's sake, Fatso. Tell him where it is, and you're a dead man. You wouldn't kill me now, would you? No. You have my word on it. <laughs> uh, right here. When you're heading towards Dallas, there's a, a narrow canyon there. You sure? It's more like a gorge to me. Uh, no, it's a canyon. Oh, shit. Uh, just a second. There, that's better. Now, where was I? Oh, hey, what the hell? Oh, 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 oh. When a ship's sinking, the first to abandon, it's always the rats. You're just wasting your time. I've swallowed more insults than you could think of, but now I'm all through. Mm, all because we found somebody who keeps their promises. Sure, how'd you guess? Just call it intuition. His time will come. Shoshin is no one's fool. Don't underestimate yeah. him. Well, good luck, George. Admit, I had you all wrong. You're almost a genius. <laughs> How the devil did you manage to figure out so quick that just letting that rope loose would set those barrels and bags of grain a falling? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he looks stupid. Ah, you're right. Yeah, well, I do use a brain sometimes, and then, well, after all, heck, I spent eight whole years in the third grade. Good man. Learned everything eight times more than anybody else. <laughs> Ricky, Joe, they like that. Looks like they're all caught with their pants down. <laughs> Why don't you look? Go on. Guess what? Jackass dumbbell, the perfect, the ideal hiding place, huh? The spot where nobody would ever find it. Uh, you 
Samson's. It's a sure bet they've gone into town to have themselves a celebration. Well, go on. Start helping yourself. Just make sure that what you take is in working order. Yes, sir. What's more, they have no idea that whoever hid the valise came back to look for it. Come on, shake a leg. Move it. Let's go. Hey, hey shake a leg. Hurry up, I said. You really are exasperating. Rest in peace. The Samson's are here in town, and they're more important, they found the cash. I want some of the hands to mount up and to ride out of town. The others are to stay here and make believe I've given them all a day off. Those brothers are going to go down in history. Time's come, my friend, for us to start earning our daily bread. Get ready. Get ready, yes, sir. Let me tell you. Jaguar gets ready, all hell starts busting loose. No bullets in it. <laughs> Maybe you could lend me a couple, huh? How do you like that? I swear you left them on purpose, except for your, your reputation. <laughs> Never notice you get in the wrong way around, they won't go in. That's very clever. All right, let's get near the end. Here rides the answer to all your prayers. Say I'm tickled to death. Get yourself killed now. You can join up with Charlie. Why would I do that? I hardly knew the fellow. Four, what say we move out? Now look, you're going to be all right. You're a real big coffin. You have any idea how come it's so quiet now? 
It is? Because we're the only two people still alive. <laughs> that is, the only two left against the Sampsons. Oops. See a man about a dog. Pete's sake, can't you wait? Mm. Go over against the, the wall there. Yeah. about me. Are you sure it was him? Yeah, I recognize him by that sissy coat he wears. Uh, are you really... Uh, um... Well, you, you know how it is in this crazy day and age. Mm -hmm. Check the time. Mm -hmm. It stopped. Use that gun. Or you and Charlie have supper together. Where, where are you going? It's me, Jaguar. You can come out now. Clovis! They 
They've all gotten themselves killed. Two against one. Let's make a deal. If you want to join them... The police for Jaguar. I want to send him to his mama with a meat hook through his gut. There's the police. Go pick it up. What kind of a deal? Only one thing wrong. I don't know where he is. But if you can find him, you can have him. Family's holding a reunion, and I wouldn't want you to be late. Hey, Jaguar, the show's over. Be right down, Shashane. It. A jaguar. <laughs> How many did you get? Uh, mm -hmm. oh, all right. Let's go find us a drink. We should ride out soon so we can be across the border by tonight. Hey, there's no one here. So yourself, Sam. Let's drink and then get out of here. That's your bottle. Yeah. Twenty percent is, um, let me see, it's about twenty or thirty thousand dollars or so. It's fourteen thousand eight hundred to be exact. Oh. <laughs> hmm. We just came in to settle accounts with Decoven, but we've just seen his body and the sheriff's there too. Yeah, the town's like a cemetery, ain't it? Hold it. You mind? I'm just having a whiskey, and I like drinking in peace. Get the belts. This is where it all began. Just what is it that we've done that you don't like? You arrived in this town and done nothing but create trouble. You joined up with that dog, DeCoven, for... We joined up with him for misguided reasons. What's all this talk for? We came here to hang him. Shana, it ain't fair. Why don't you volunteer to go first? Seventeen and a half inch color. Oh, Lord. Wait a moment. How much money do you need to pay off all the mortgages? What in hell do you care? Wasting our time ain't gonna help you. How much is it? Thirty thousand dollars. This valise. No, no, it's your shame. Not that cash. No. Right here, there's enough cash to pay off everybody's outstanding mortgage. And more. But you better understand one thing. It's stolen money. <laughs> now, I realize that I'm tempting all of you, and all of you have got to live with your consciences. So perhaps I should tell you my idea of an honest man. He's a man you can't buy. Or let's say $10, or double that amount, or even triple it. But what if he was offered, let's say, $10,000? Or to make doubly certain, you offer him $20,000. Or 30. It really doesn't matter. If it really doesn't matter, you offer him $74,000. There you are, honest men. 
$74,000. Final offer. Well, why are y'all standing about like that? Take it. Local. Uh huh. These are the local ones, these men here. We were lucky to get away. But you gave him my 20% as well. Shoot. 20% of a noose around your neck is still a noose around your neck. Yeah. Where are we heading to? I don't know, but we can find safes in pretty near every town. Hey, wait a second. I gotta tell you, I ain't a real jaguar. I knew that right from the beginning. Hell, you ain't even a pussycat. Oh, well, uh, I don't know how to hit a man. I'm not a gunfighter or anything. So I don't see how I can be of any use to you. Right. You're not. But this watch here of yours is, uh... This here is, uh... This is my real honest-to-God partner. <laughs> <laughs>